Hey kids, today we're building a horse stable, a pond for the animals, a chicken coop, a rabbit hutch, and a fence to keep the farm animals in. All the tractors here, who's in the back? It's a sheep. Sheep are used on farms for their wool. Wool can make clothing. Who's this in the back? It's a white horse. Okay, let's pop the horse back here in our horse stable. All the tractors here, who's this? It's a farm dog. Oh, they've seen the water. Splash. Looks like they're having a great time. Oh, who's this? It's a goat. Goats like to eat grass, hay, weeds, grain, and sometimes bark. Don't forget to close the gate. <gasps> Who's this flying in? Oh, it's a beautiful white swan. Nice landing. <gasps> Who's in the back of the tractor? It's a lamb. A lamb is a baby sheep. Oh, and it looks like they're happy to see their dad. Okay, let's pop the lamb back here with their dad. The tractor's here. Who's in the back? It's a pig. It looks like they've seen the water. Pigs love swimming, so let's pop them next to the pond. The tractor's here. Oh, we've got two animals. It's a brown rabbit and a white rabbit. Okay, let's pop them back here at the rabbit hutch where they can make their home. Boing, boing, boing. The tractor's here. Who's in the back? It's a brown horse. Okay, let's pop them in the stable. Horses love stables as it is somewhere where they can relax and be fed. <gasps> Who's this coming in? It's a kangaroo and they've come to visit the farm. <gasps> the tractor's here. Who's in the back? It's two chickens. These, oh, and some eggs and chicks. These two chickens are also known as hens because they are female. Let's pop them in the chicken coop so that they can have a rest. The chicks are also known as baby chickens and they have hatched from eggs. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, the tractor's here. What's that in the back? It's some grass. Oh, let's feed some animals. Let's give this one to the white horse and this one to the goat. Whoops. Let's pick up the goat so that they can have some grass. Sorry, buddy. Okay, there's some grass for the goat. Oh, who's this flying in? It's a white duck. Nice landing. Oh, who's in the back of the tractor? It's an alpaca. Let's open up the gate and let the alpaca in here. Oh, I wonder where the baby alpacas are. Oh, here they are. Okay, let's open up the gate so that they can be with their mum. Hi, mum. Oh, I bet they're glad that they're all together now. Let's pop them here next to the grass. Don't forget to close the gate. All oh, the tractors here. Who's this? It's an emu. Emus like to eat of certain trees, so let's pop them next to this tree. Oh, who's in the back of the tractor? It's two cows. Did you know that cows make a moo noise? It sounds like this. Moo. Okay. Let's pop them in here with the other farm animals so that they can relax and have some food. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, it's a bird. Oh, what type of bird is it? It's a lorikeet. Nice landing. 
who's in the back of the tractor? It's a brown horse. Okay, let's pop the horse in the stable with the other horses. Who's in the back of the tractor? It's an Angora goat. Angora goats are famous for their mohair fur. This is used to create many types of clothing. Don't forget to close the gate. All oh, the tractors here, who's that in the back? Oh, it's a cow and they look like they're relaxing. Let's pop them next to the pond. All oh, the tractors here, we've got two animals. It's a llama and a baby llama. Baby llamas are also known as creas. Okay, let's pop them in here next to the alpacas. Don't forget to close the gate. <gasps> Who's this? It's a baby emu. Hi, mum. Oh, the tractor's here. Who's this? It's another chicken. This chicken is also known as a rooster. A rooster is a male chicken. Nice landing. Oh, who's in the back of the tractor? It looks like a baby animal. It's a baby goat. Okay, let's pop them with their mum. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, the tractor's here. Who's this? It's a brown horse. Did you know that horses like to eat hay and grass? Sometimes they also get fruits and vegetables. Okay, let's shut the doors on the stable. All oh, the tractors here. We've got two animals. It's a baby donkey and an adult donkey. Donkeys' diets should consist mainly of barley straw or oat straw and they don't need to eat much grass. Oh, the tractor's here. Who's this? It's a baby pig. Oh, and it looks like Mummy Pig is coming to see them. A baby pig is also known as a piglet. Oh, the tractor's here. Oh, and it looks like a duck has gotten into the back. Okay, let's pop them in the water. Ducks like to eat pond weeds, seeds, insects, worms, and small water snails. Oh, who's this? It's a farm cat and a farm dog. And it looks like they're playing a game of chasey. Oh, and it looks like the cat's going to win. Nice one, cat. Sorry, dog, not this time. Hey, kids, today we're making our very own animal park. Let's add some fences for the animals. Oh, who's this? It's a polar bear. Polar bears are found in the United States, Canada, Russia, Greenland and Norway. <gasps> Who's in the back of the car? It's a giraffe. Okay, let's open up the fence so the giraffe can go in here. Did you know that giraffes can grow up to 5.5 meters tall? Don't forget to shut the gate. <gasps> Who's in the back of the car? Oh, there's some water. It's a clownfish. Clownfish are omnivores, which means they eat both plants and animals. <gasps> Who's that in the back of the car? It's a hippopotamus. Hippopotamuses are excellent swimmers and can hold their breath for five minutes. Wow, I don't think I could hold my breath that long. Don't forget to close the gate. Who's this flying in? It's a vulture. Nice landing. Who's in the back of the car? Oh, they're also in water. It's a dolphin. Okay, let's let the dolphin 
swim around in the water. Dolphins live in the ocean. <gasps> Who's this? It's a crab. Most crabs live in the ocean, but some can live on the sand and in the water. <gasps> Who's this in the back of the car? It's a cheetah. Cheetahs have spots whoops, on their fur. This helps them camouflage themselves in the wild to protect themselves from predators. Don't forget to close the gate. The car's here. Who's this? It's a penguin. Penguins are birds and instead of wings, they have flippers which help them move through the water. Oh, who's this? It's a tiger. Tigers are the largest cats in the wild. Adult tigers can weigh up to 360 kilograms. Don't forget to close the gate. <gasps> the car's here. Oh, what did they bring in? Oh, it's some water. Okay, let's give the water to the animals so that they have something to drink. Who's in the back of the car? It's an orange fish with blue stripes. Okay, let's pop them in the ocean so they can have a swim. The car's here. Who's in the back? It's a turtle. Okay, some turtles are found in the sea and some turtles are found on the land. Oh, the car's here. Who's this? It's a serval. Servals can leap upwards and catch birds as they are flying by. Wow, whoops. Okay, let's put the serval here. Oh, I think they're a bit thirsty. There you go, buddy. Okay, don't forget to close the gate. Oh, the tractor's here. This is a big animal. It's a shark. Wow, look at those teeth. Okay, let's have a look at the shark's mouth. Wow, that's big. Time for a swim. Sharks are found in oceans all over the world. Okay, let's pop them here. Who's in the back of the car? It's a lobster. A lobster has two big claws at the front and eight legs on the sides of their bodies. Who's in the back of the car? It's a starfish. Okay, starfish live in water and on the sand. The car's here. Who's this? It's a panda. Did you know that pandas can swim and also climb trees? Wow! Don't forget to close the gate. Who's in the back of the car? Oh, it's an orca. An orca is a whale. Another name for an orca is a killer whale. Okay, let's pop them here. Who's this flying in? Oh, it's a bird. Oh, it's an eagle. Nice landing. The car's here. Oh, what's in the back? Oh, we've got some plants. And it looks like a blue tang fish. Okay, let's put the plants in the water so that the animals have something to eat. Okay, let's pop the blue tang in the water so they can have a swim. A blue tang's colour can change with its mood. Who's in the back of the car? It's an elephant. Elephants use their trunk to suck up water when they are thirsty. They can also use their trunk as a snorkel when they are swimming. Don't forget to close the gate. <gasps> Who's in the back of the car? 
It's a walrus. Walruses have two tusks on the front of their head, which helps them pull themselves out of the water. It's a red clownfish. Hi. All the cars here. Who's in the back? It's a rhinoceros and they're playing with the car. Okay, let's open up the fence and pop them in here next to the elephant. Don't forget to close the gate. The car's reversing in. What have they got? Oh, it looks like some leaves. Okay, let's give the leaves to the rhinoceros and elephant so they have something to eat. Oh, it's a little crab. Crabs usually walk sideways. Oh, who's in the back of the car? It's a seal. Seals mainly live in the ocean, but you can also sometimes find them on jetties or up on the sand. Oh, the car's here. Who's this? It's a porcupine. Porcupine have tough little hairs on the back of their body, which helps protect them from predators. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, the car's here. Who's this? It's a yellow octopus. Octopus have eight tentacles on their body, much like legs. This helps them move through the water. All oh, the cars here, who's this? It's a wombat. Okay, let's pop the wombat in here with the other animals. Don't forget to close the gate. Thanks for watching kids. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!